Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway is a direct continuation of the Brothers in Arms storyline and brings back characters that fans of the series are already well invested in. The story uses the colossal failure of Operation Market Garden as a backdrop to tell a more personal story about Staff Sergeant Matt Baker. Baker is trying to deal with the emotional toll of losing people that have died under his command, and many characters from previous games are referenced in interesting ways. The story is actually quite stellar overall, especially if you've played the other games in the series. It's a very cinematic experience with characters that you feel for, and although you'll get the most out of it if you've played the other games, everything is well explained for those new to the series. In other words, if you're a fan of Hollywood-style World War II drama, there's much to like. The game will feel very comfortable if you've played other Brothers in Arms games. This is not a series about non-stop action, but is about tactically controlling individual fire teams to outsmart the enemy. You're given control of up to three teams at a time and can direct them to certain locations or order them to fire on enemy soldiers. The teams each have their own strengths and weaknesses, so you have to be very strategic about how you use them. For example, you can send machine gunners or bazooka teams to dish out suppressing fire while you flank the unsuspecting Nazi. Unfortunately, directing your buddies only works most of the time. Sometimes they'll leap over objects and expose themselves to fire for no reason, or better yet, warp around to positions that make no logical sense. It can be frustrating to have a carefully laid out trap get foobarred by one of your own soldiers. Something new in Hell's Highway is destructible cover. Cover has always been an important part of the franchise, but now things like fences and desks can be completely torn apart by gunfire. This adds yet another layer of strategy to the game. Not only must you always keep an eye on what you're hiding behind, you can also destroy enemy cover to flush them out. This is very satisfying and is a great addition to freshen up the core mechanics. Unfortunately, enemy AI is somewhat mixed. On one hand, they realistically flank you or find cover and generally make your life a living hell, which is actually a good thing. But on the other hand, they sometimes just stand in the open without moving or don't notice that a grenade has gone off directly behind them. Some of the AI routines feel scripted because they will suddenly spring to life when you get within proximity. This is especially apparent within the solo sections. The solo sections are somewhat of an oddity in this game. For a title that emphasizes team strategy, there are a lot of missions where Baker just goes it alone, almost to the point where the game feels more like Brother in Arms, Baker's Odyssey. There's nothing wrong with these sections per se, but it just seems unrealistic for a platoon commanding officer to go solo. In terms of graphics, this game is very hit or miss. There are a lot of good texture work, such as chip stones in the side of buildings and zoomed-in kill shots that look very sweet. However, some of it looks downright terrible. Some of the grass and flowers are just 2D textures, and random slowdown and render pop-in haunts cutscenes throughout the entire game. There's also this annoying grain filter that gives everything an unnatural sheen and constantly calls attention to itself. It's disappointing that the graphics are not more consistent because shoddy graphics can really take you out of the experience quickly. Overall, Hell's Highway is the definition of good, but not great. The superb story and presentation is hampered by the game's technical limitations, but the game is still worth playing if you're itching to find out what befalls Sergeant Baker and his brothers in arms. For the full written review, regroup and head over to IGN.com.